So the Warriors make a change on their penalty killing unit now with 124 left to go in this Viper power play, their first of the game. Cleaves down the left wing side to the front of the net. Luke Packlock stop, rebound, scores. Following up on the play with Seiya Tanaka Campbell, who puts it past the glove side of Justin Katz. And for Tanaka Campbell, it's his third goal of the season. And Vernon jumps out to a one to nothing lead with 8.58 to go on the first as they get a power play goal. Aiden Reeves back along with it inside of his own zone, being turned off the puck. It comes up the boards on the left wing side, and Duclair will take it away. Sends it ahead for Sharoon at center. Sharoon trying to play it in. Here's Brennan Nelson, left circle, scores! <laughs> Brennan Nelson in the left circle after finding the puck. Riley Sharoon put it into the skates of a Viper defender. Nelson just found the loose biscuit and carries it down the left side from the left circle, a low shot past the glove side of Ethan David. It's Nelson's fifth of the year, and the Warriors tie it up, it's 1-1. Boy, that's a bit of a lift. That was a nice little play by... Uh... Back along with the right wing side now, it's Cleves back for Milburn. Now Cleves once more, top of the right dot. Midpoint for Milburn, 15 seconds to go in the period. Right side it goes for Cleves. Cleves down low, stopped up by Tanaka Campbell. Cleves with it again, high slot, Milburn waiting. Left wing side, a shot, they score. Good puck movement by the Vipers, and it's Lee Parks of the left wing circle with seven seconds to go in the first period. That beats Katz on the blocker side. Vernon's power play is two for two, and they lead the game two to one. That was amazing puck. McDonald gets to it left wing corner. Drops it down low, just out of the reach of Alexi Van Hukachero, who's racing to get back after it, trying to lift the stick of Elliott. Puck comes along now for McDonald, left circle to the blue line it goes. Matt Fusco waiting to his right now. He'll throw it on, that's knocked down, loose puck, side of the net, scores! McDonald, I think. It was, it's Ben McDonald in the left faceoff circle after Fusco's shot hit a fray in front. It's McDonald in the left dot, able to put it past the blocker side of David. McDonald sixth of the year, and we're tied again. It's 2-2. And again, I, you know what, I noticed again the... Uh... Puck is cleared back behind the goal now as it's Laframbois that takes this. Noah Laframbois left it there for Bobby May on the left wing side. Alexi Van Hukachero out through center. Jaden Moriello trying to get around a check as he was defended by Anson McMaster and Luke... Ashton gave the puck up. Here's a chance. Moriello a shot. He scores! That was, uh, that was, I'm sure, uh, from the Viper perspective, that was a terrible giveaway, and uh, Moriello just pounced on it in front of the slot, and bang, it's in. The boards and back out through to center. Regan Milburn through the middle. Here's a chance for Hank Cleaves. He's in alone. Great stop by Katz. Another fantastic stop at the right pad and a chance for Anson McMaster as he fired the puck wide. Loose to the side of the net. Somehow that puck stayed out. Awkwardly taken to the right wing corner. There was Felix Caron. The Vipers turn it back and another breakaway. It's Fashionelli in alone. Stop by Katz once more. Another huge save by Justin Katz. This time with the Tien at center. Pass comes across on the left wing side. Elliott gets around a stick check. High slot dropping it off left wing. Milburn to the net, that stuff. Rebound, another save by Katz. Then they score on the second opportunity. And at the front of the goal, it's Hank Cleaves that puts it in. Cleaves getting his third point of the night. A goal and two assists as he finds the rebound in front. And this game's tied with 5.28 to go in the third. Held it on to the right side. 15 seconds to go in regulation. The Vipers will clear it back down ice. Going back after it there is Matt Fusco. Nine seconds to go here in the third period. Fusco makes his way out now. Five seconds to go as he carries up ice on the left wing side. Fusco stopping up left wing half board. And now we'll come back to the blue line. Norland can't get a shot on. And we will head to overtime. The Warriors and the Vipers cannot be settled after 60 minutes. 3-3 three, three is our score after three periods of play. And the Warriors and the Vipers going to overtime here in this one tonight. Aiden Reeves back with it here for West Kelowna. Head for Ben McDonald. McDonald at center working in the left wing side with Reeves to the net, tipped on, and a stop by Ethan David. What a save by Ethan David on Aiden Reeves driving hard to the net. And a pass that came from Ben McDonald from the left side. Ahead for Aiden Reeves. 
Reeves working his way in across the blue line, working wide on the right side. Reeves cuts below the goal line behind the net, centering it out in front. That was worked away, and with five seconds to go, the Vipers will just get it back out to center, and that'll sound the buzzer on overtime. So for the first time this season, the Warriors are going to head to a shootout. The Vipers have been there once. They've lost once so far, and, well, we'll just keep playing. McDonald against David. With a shootout yet to be found in the back of the net. McDonald working wide on the right side. Cuts to the high slot with it on his forehand to the back and forehand scores! What a move by Ben McDonald and the Warriors can win it. It's Luke Pakalak, the last chance here for Vernon. If Katz makes this stop, the Warriors take the extra point and win the game. Pakalak. Wide on the right side with speed to the net. Makes a move. Stopped by Katz. It's over. The Warriors win. 4-3 in a shootout.